Whoa, is that? It can't be! New from Cheesy Gubbins. One big gubbin. Out of your dreams and into your mouth. Plagiarism is not a belief system. Distracted students should pretend that they're listening. The academic year is starting soon. Was there anything we wanted to do? Results published. Now. The academic year is over. Students must vacate the campus. And we've got an update for you on the story of the zoo worker that fell into the gibber enclosure. We're now hearing that the employee is rising through the gibbon social structure. Fascinating stuff. There's no word on what gibbons are, but I believe they're a kind of amphibious cat. Little smooth creatures with whiskers and a big bushy tail. Fantastic. If it's not on your CV, it didn't happen. Not to me. Thank you. 
did, then dogs don't eat homework. The campus is expanding. joined by Professor Hamish Curlybags of the Pebbly Frog Sanctuary, who tells me gibbons are nothing like an amphibious cat. What's going on, Hamish? That's right, Ricky. Gibbons are actually, well, they're land mammals and apes, much like ourselves, but with very long arms. Apes, you say? Well, I never. Thanks for joining us, Professor. There's nothing I like more than being corrected on air. Announcement. The timetable is now live. Welcome, new students. We're more afraid of you than you are of us. Security breach. Please change your passwords. Sorry. We're sorry for the litter that you... Oh, sorry, that's mine. Time for Chef Ricky's morsel of the day. You can buy breadcrumbs from any self-respecting supermarket or interweb parlor replacement service, but there's something to be said for doing it the old-fashioned way, by throwing the loaf against a brick wall until it disintegrates into a fresh and flaky nothingness. It'll take a good couple of hours, but boy, is it worth it. Maintenance announcement. Plants need water, remember?
Visitors should be checked in and then removed immediately. to be inspirational. We've got breaking news and a surprise twist from the Gibbon enclosure. The zoo worker, first thought lost to the diminutive apes, has become their leader. They claim to have learned to love the Gibbons, their way of life, and their disproportionately lengthy arms. So, instead of going to work in the zoo every day, they'll just be living there, I suppose. That's one way to skip the morning traffic. I've been Ricky Hawthorne. Good night. Is, is it really worth going? Students are reminded to be in two places at once.
transferable. Students are reminded that you came here on purpose. Felicity Bellbottom speaking for you, the students, in every sense, on Campus Radio. Up next, we'll be talking about power napping, comforting dream or confusing nightmare. Find out after this. Students are reminded that I'm not your mum.
frequently asked questions. No, your chicken should not be pink. Lots of students struggle to get enough sleep. That's why Campus Radio's very own Maggie Watmore has been trying out the latest techniques to fit some much-needed rest into a busy schedule. That's right, I've been trying out power napping. The day's craze sweeping through campus like that fungus in the showers. For those of you that don't know, Power napping, or turbo kipping, is a practice that allows you to sleep on the spot, grabbing some valuable rest time between classes. I think I almost did it for a moment, but then I realised I was 45 minutes late for a lecture. <laughs> but no, yeah, I actually feel really well rested. Frequently asked questions. No, I will not be your friend. Students are reminded that there's no such thing as free time. story of an arts college with no paint in sight. Hugh. Yes, the students at Fitzpocket Academy were supposed to be taking a class in oil painting this year, but their funding allocation has shifted and so too has the earth beneath the feet of their expectations. I was lucky enough to speak to one student. Yeah, it's a bit of a shame, but it's all right. I'll just take the class next year. A brave face on an even braver student. This is just another story of student funding crushing the hopes and indeed dreams of some fine art students. All they wanted was some paint. But for now, the funding has dried up and with it, 
the oil paint well. Janitor needed to unlock toilets. Lovely. Beaver from Bungle, the small car that makes the little things feel bigger than they are. It's a perspective thing. <laughs> Students are reminded to set reminders.
tuition fees may be spent on administrative bonuses. Priceless. Who Point County Professor Hercules Cheesewater recently came under fire after publishing work they found on the bus. The professor has now responded to the allegations, saying, Inspiration can come from the strangest of places. So true, Professor. In fact, I find all my coursework on public transport, proofread and ready to hand in. 